the COP process has failed. After nearly 30 years, negotiations between nations have been unable and unwilling to deliver an adequate plan to keep global warming below 1.5 degrees. In fact, we are headed for much worse. The future of life on Earth hangs in the balance. We have lost so much already. And with the warming that is already locked in, further humanitarian impacts are now inevitable. There is still so much we can save, but the truth is, there are no easy options left. We are in an unprecedented situation, one that our political system both created and is unable to deal with. We need a political system that isn't beholden to short-term thinking or corrupted by fossil fuel interests. One that's inclusive and fair, not divided by tribalism, but able to bring the country together. To do this, we must put ordinary citizens at the heart of our democracy to make the tough decisions that our government is unable or unwilling to make, and to do so free from the corruption of Westminster. This is the vision that Extinction Rebellion was founded on. As the abolitionist Frederick Douglass said, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. History has shown us that time and time again, one method has consistently been able to deliver meaningful societal change. When millions of people come together to demand change, governments have no choice but to act. This is what's needed now. Let's do what works. Prolonged, disruptive, non-violent civil resistance. That's why in 2022, Extinction Rebellion is planning to create the largest act of civil resistance in UK history. But we need your help. Whoever you are, there's a role waiting for you. Everyone is welcome and everyone is needed. Change is not going to come from inside conference rooms, but from ordinary people like you and me. See you on the streets. <laughs>